admission without funding what is the way forward a lot of students have gotten admissions to study in the u.s but the admissions or admission letter came without any scholarships most people have been fortunate that the admissions always come sometimes they come with um, a good funding especially those with good grades but some are unfortunate because sometimes school applications become very competitive and the admission committee considers a lot of factors before giving admissions as well as scholarships so people end up getting admissions without scholarships so if you find yourself in such a situation what are you supposed to do so welcome to um this another episode of my travel ab abroad vlogs if, if this is your first time kindly subscribe to so that anytime i upload a video you're going to be notified A lot of students are planning to travel for fall 2023, starting this August. That is when most schools in the U.S. Um, start their um, fall semester. Many students have gotten admission without funding. They've gotten admission without funding. So today, in my video, I'm going to explain to you three ways you can um, you can use to help you secure a graduate assistantship or any form of funding or scholarships from the school you have gained admission from. So let's go into the video. So the first thing is that when you get admission from a university, the first thing to do, or you get admission without any funding, the first thing to do is go to the graduate school or the graduate department of um, the university. The admissions, the mostly if you get an admission from a particular department or the program of your choice, they forward it to the graduate school and the graduate school send you an email offering you admission from the university so the first step is that you contact the graduate school coordinator that's the first thing to do also i'm still under the graduate school where you also another graduate school you still go to um, financial aid under the graduate school to also check if there are funding opportunities um, for graduate students so with the graduate coordinator, you need to send them an email telling them that if there's any form of funding that you need to introduce yourself that you are your name, you've got an admission into this program and you are preparing for the 423 admissions. So you're asking them if there's any form of scholarship available for international students, which you can apply. Also, you go to the graduate school, financial aid, you click on the you go and check if there's a financial aid for the department or the school which is the um, graduate school so if you find out there's an um some of them you need, just need to apply some of them are just easy steps some of them you need to write an essay from for me myself um i got a dean scholars award for what then that one was um on the graduate school's um, page i went there and um, i applied by writing um, five strong essays as to why I need the scholarships. So I did that and I was awarded the Dean Scholars Award. So the, the second step is that when you are being offered admission from uh, the, the program of your choice or the department you apply to, you can also talk to the um, department head, which is the department um, coordinator or the department head of your, your program. Contact him as well as all the, any other faculty member First of all, you need to contact faculty members whose your research work, especially with the STEM program, science, technology, engineering, and maths. You need to contact professors because it's, a, it's basically about research. So you need to contact professors who has a research or your research work aligns with them. So if your research work aligns with them, you need to send them an email and inform them that your research work aligns with them and you'll be willing to work with them and you are asking if there's any form of funding available to you. And if there's any form of funding, you're going to get a response 
to that so make sure you email all faculty members in your department asking them if there's any what scholarships or graduate assistantships available to you and the th and the third thing is that um, the third step or the third step to also gain um, a, a graduate um, assistantship or scholarship from the school is to email professors who are related to the program. For for instance, for myself, uh, I'm, I was coming to do master's in chemistry. So since I'm a science student or I did science in high school, I'll be able to, I did courses in biology, physics, chemistry, and what? Mathematics. So with science students like this, you can email um, professors or faculty members in the biology department, the physics department, um, the chemistry, since I'm in chemistry, I've, the second point was your the department you're going to what, study. So you you also send email to those professors um, as well as mathematics. And if you can even go forward and search your school, the science related programs or the statistics, for instance, mathematics, send professors email. Um, for example, let me let me let me get you an example. I had a friend from my course from back in Ghana, K University. She was offered a master's in chemistry at the University of Scranton. And um, the chemistry, chemistry department, she has sent emails to the chemistry department and there was no um, graduate assistantship available to her. So what she did was she emailed professors in um, the other field, which is biology department, and she was able to what, secure a graduate assistantship from the biology department. So when she traveled to the US, she was going to study master's in chemistry, but ended up having a graduate assistant from the biology department because she was uh, from her CV, she wrote that she was a science student in, from in high school. So she, she, she'll be able to what, um, teach students biology. And sometimes the reason why I, um, you're supposed to send emails to professors in other departments is that sometimes it's not that you're going to teach. So even if you are in the science field, you can send emails to MBA, accounting, whatever, whatever department. Some of them, the graduate assistantship is in the form of working as an administrative assistant. You're going to assist the professor in administrative work or even sometimes run errands for the professor. So it's not necessary that, let's say I'm a science student, uh, because of that, I'm not going to email professors in the accounting department. Sometimes you're not going to be teaching accounting. It's not only, graduate assistant is not only about teaching and, and research. Sometimes it comes in the form of administrative assistantship or administrative work where you're going to assist the professor to um, work with administrative purposes. So you can do that and also try and secure funding. You understand? So make sure you that the school that you're admitted to, you send emails to every professor in the school, telling them about your what, admission offer and um, asking them if there's any form of assistance or scholarship. And I think if you're able to do this, it's going to go away forward to help you and um it's most mostly advisable that you make sure you apply to um four schools or more than four let's say your, if your grades are very bad or a third class or second class lower make sure you apply to more than um four schools so that it can broaden your chances of getting a good admissions and good offer so i'm gonna end the video today if this is your first time you kindly subscribe and like comment and see you in my next video Thank you. Bye-bye.